what is up guys it's so Ash. we are back again with some more mobile legends and we are going to take a look at maxim today maxim is crazy with physical and survival abilities uh we're going to check look at basically what he's able to do a rage and charge you can charge for dealing physical damage to the enemies in your path next one is combat shield it creates a shield which absorbs damage and deals continuous damage to surrounding enemies that's very useful normal attacks have a chance to deal critical damage and stun their targets that is cool and ghost form this is the ultimate turn into a ghost normal attacks deal extra damage increases physical defense and movement speed and it lasts 24 seconds that is a very long ultimate uh and how you obtain him you get him from chest that's the only way to current currently get him so we're gonna go in here and he's actually free for this week so we're gonna jump into an ai and you know what let's go hard mode let's that's uh let's try him out on hard and there he is right there in all of his glory um four arms yeah you only really see him attack with the uh big axe though let's go ahead and get ready now need i remind you my runes are set up for more of a physical and defensive character so my build probably is gonna go decent for him and uh, we're gonna try to level up as quick as we can with him as well because he is capable of killing very very fast so he's good for jungle runs um and i'm gonna show you exactly how i was doing it earlier on him i did play him a little bit just to see how he was and this is the AI, the ai so i don't believe we're gonna have any problems with them trying to come get the buff so we'll be able to grab this buff to go to level two to begin with now, there is one right there probably staging and i went ahead and picked up uh the shield which does damage around me as well and i've got the dash uh which deals 100 damage to enemies that goes through everyone and we're pretty much just gonna start out helping one side all right, we're all three. They normally split, so there's two up top and one on bottom right now for the other side. And I'm just gonna run down. Not quite ready to kill yet, but I do, yep, it's Ember down here. It's probably not a very good move. She's got some high burst damage. If we can stay around her, all right, we got her next ability. Let's go ahead and dash. We can use that as a get out to get away. And look at that other ability real quick. Painted halberd. That's where normal ch attacks have a 15% chance to deal extra damage and slow the target. So we can go through them there. Get the shield up. And if you didn't see the shield. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright. Let's both get out. We got a regen right here. Moves around so fast. Alright. Ultimate's up ultimate just basically lets it move really fast and it's pretty awesome because it lasts 24 seconds not gonna be able to get the kill off of that but i'm gonna get away from this guy go up here grab this heal because i haven't well i guess i have all right so we'll go in see if we can't get a kill on owen nice nice time to get out heal Ultimate got used. Oh, I barely survived. Okay. Yeah, it's time to go back to base. All right We're gonna drop in. I'm still only but Level four I'm gonna start killing stuff in the jungle as I go from top to bottom I'm gonna kind of play both sides Use the power buffs everything I can while I'm going up and down them and Looks like there is one down here. So we're gonna get the kills off on all these Try to utilize all the damage that I'm able to do and kill the mercs or the little guys while we're down here Ooh, let me get a shield up grab some of these heals i'll leave these laying around because i know i'm going to be coming back through the jungle pretty soon might not have been a good idea to attack this guy yet but we'll try it uh, we're gonna die too soon too soon had to wait for the uh life still uh upgrade which i believe is at 2000 gold next so we're a little bit away from it and we can go kill all that stuff 
So let's go ahead and go bottom. Kill this stuff first. And the shield really comes in handy because I mean they're really not doing extra damage. And that's one thing I do upgrade first as well. Alright, here's a power buff. Uh oh, we caught Ember low health. Gonna get that speed. Perfect timing for the uh, Frost Lance. Get that kill. Let's get out. It's gonna help him heal up. But I'm just gonna bait him. Use that shield. He's not gonna be able to out damage me. I've got this heal and we've got a power buff coming up too. All right, Ember's coming to help him. So we're going through the wall. Yes, you can go through the walls with this character. That's a pretty cool thing about it. All right, we are max on the shield now. See, now I have extra health. And he kills so fast. Like, I really don't have to worry about a whole lot. You can just run through beast mode stuff, kill, and work five and two. All right, we can go ahead and take out these now. And you start leveling up a lot faster than everybody else. And you can bounce back and forth pretty quick with this character. Let's go ahead and take him out. And let's upgrade that. All right, now we have, all right, now we have uh, the regen every time we get uh, hit or we actually do damage so when I'm attacking something I'm actually healing myself in and with the shield so it's gonna basically make me almost invulnerable to pretty much anything out now let's just jump over in here take this stuff out I'm just farming right now I'm not too too worried about them up top they seem to be holding uh, looks like they might have got one tower down but that's okay as we're not looking to push yet or I'm not, especially with this character, because I want to level him up. I want to show you how powerful this guy actually becomes. All right, and we'll go here. And let's go top. Let's check him out. No, they didn't get that tower up there. Okay, good. So they haven't even touched our tower yet. All right, going to go ahead and kill this off. And we'll take one tower. Mm, I'm probably pushing my luck. Yeah, because they done killed all that stuff. All right, so we'll grab this heal right here. And watch how fast I'm able to heal up from that. Let's go in the jungle. Just kill some stuff. Go down here and pick these guys up. And the more you do this, the faster you, you get at it with this character. So that's the really nice thing. He's able to go across so fast swap over pick up power ups and just destroy this stuff and level up so much faster than even your own teammates but you're still helping your teammates out that's the thing they're still getting gold every time you kill something so that's the nice thing about it if you are playing this type of character and if you do need to engage with this guy like i said pop in on somebody not even realizing they they're there and just destroy them we might be able to take the whole team out right there. Oh, that was a bad move. That ultimate uh, took a bit more than I was expecting. All right, let's go check bottom lane real quick. See how things are progressing with the uh, minions down here. Looks like we still have the tower. Yes, we do. Barely been touched. and we'll go ahead and take okay everything's already done got ember back all right this time we uh know she doesn't have her uh ultimate oh she did she did wow that was so close okay here we go gonna try to heal up pretty quick kill this stuff off use the shield and uh, I should actually heal even fighting this guy now because I'm able to do so much damage yeah here's where it really gets fun level 12 I believe it maxes out at 16 is the maximum level I got it up to uh, the tier 3 uh, equip 
armor earlier. So, I don't know, that was about, it took about 14 to 15 minutes of farming straight, just going back and forth in between these places. And I was able to get that much. All right, now here's the fire guy. Check this out, we're gonna kill him. And if you didn't know it, this guy drops a pretty cool buff. Uh, I don't know if you've ever paid attention to it. Be able to keep the shield and pretty much outheal the damage that this guy's doing at this point. I mean, you can, you're down here solo on this boss by yourself. And not only do you get a lot of gold from this guy, but he drops a pretty amazing buff. And if I have to show you how it works, we will do that. It's only 10 to 3 currently. All right, you see that little flame right there? Grab that right there, and now it's on you. All right, so what that means is if I go get a little crazy and decide, ooh, I want to kill all this stuff and take this tower out, I have no minions here to actually do any damage to the tower. So I'm doing very small damage, but look, that buff, remember that buff we picked up? We're back. It gives you the same thing that Dread's ultimate is, basically a revive if you die for that one chance. Uh, and you get it every time you kill that uh, fire demon that spawns right down here. And the frost one is the one that joins you, so that's pretty cool. Uh, that's come in handy quite a bit for some of the runs and uh, plays that we've done on the team that I usually play with. They're not online right now, so that's why we're playing just like this. All right, oh, got this guy up right here. Still level 13. I think we can push up to uh, probably up to 16 pretty quick now. I'm still starting to die fast. And we're getting power buffs. Okay, only one thing's up here. And at this point, the health you could just leave laying because you really won't ever honestly need it. Nothing's really gonna be able to take you down. You can even go mess with the other guys and they can't really do a whole lot to you. Let's see if the, their full ultimate will take me down. I'm just doing normal attacks. I'm not doing anything special. Ultimate, it took everything they had right there to get that much damage, me just doing normal attacks on them. Did nothing special out of the ordinary except for auto attack and killed that person. Uh, Maximum, like I said, if you build him right and you, if you got the right runes, he becomes pretty crazy. Um, especially with some dodge, I mean, get to the point to where they're almost not even able to hit you sometimes uh, that got quite fun earlier when I was doing that and I wasn't even utilizing the shield right back there all right let's get out of there that's all three of them don't want to get too too crazy with it nah we can go right here and go ahead and kill this stuff all right we're level 16 now check the armor all right we're halfway through tier 2 so we haven't even hit the tier three section yet. And let's go ahead and kill all this stuff off. The tower's still not down, is it? All right. All right, this tower's gotta die right now. Okay. 15-3, we only need a couple more kills. I'll go ahead and grab a couple right here. All right, we got the other regen. Not sure how fair this fight is. I mean, I mean, it's all fair. It's it's hard mode. This is the hard AI, and look how easy it seems with uh, Maxim. I mean, it is crazy at how easy this seems. But I mean, it's just strategy. You run in the jungle and just using the runes that you have. Go ahead and take this out. Now, if she comes up here, she's definitely gonna die because you seen last time she didn't use. I didn't use anything on her last time. And I was able to do quite a bit. And that's with me actually trying. There wasn't really much of a difference. Now she was a little bit leveled up from the previous uh, exchange. But okay, here we go. We got another one of these. Let's see if we can actually heal completely up fighting this guy. I'm interested to see if we can actually do that. Now I really don't have to actually sit there and spam it because he'll sit there and actually automatically attack. So it does auto attack if you're uh, targeting something, if you didn't know that. See, I'm not spamming the attack button now and it's completely attacking by itself. How amazing is that? Okay, let's go. All right, so if he actually did have enough hit points, we'd actually be able to attack him and completely heal ourselves at the same time. 
but he's going to run out of hit points and die before we do get there but we do get the res buff from him go ahead and pick that up and there's only one kill left and somebody got it striker gg guys that is maximum what do you think about this guy he's insane forearm swings a big axe and I'll tell you what i have not come across another one that i didn't uh think was probably this overpowered he's he's pretty op uh let me know what you think about him in the comments below guys if you have any questions about any of this where to get him or anything he comes from the chest that's the only way that i know how to get him that's what it said in the game so currently that's the only way to get him i want to thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video leave it a big fat like as always like comment and subscribe i am soul bash you guys have a nice day